What's going on YouTube? West Hobbies RC. So today we have the Isheen E120 done up in a little skill military scheme. I want to give a huge thank you to Banggood for sending this model out to me for review. And it looks like an awesome little helicopter. So as you can see, it comes in mode one, mode two. Mine came in mode one, but I'm pretty sure we can switch that pretty easily. Box has very simple, but everything you need to know. So let's go ahead and cut this packaging off and let's get to looking at this. So satisfying. Okay, so now the glare isn't so bad with the shininess. So it looks like we cut, we have the ready to fly version. Battery goes in on the bottom, which is pretty cool. So it's gonna be a proprietary battery system. It is a four blade rotor head, fixed pitch of course, and I believe brushed main and tail motor, but we'll look at that in a second. And it comes with its own e-sheen radio. It is a four channel helicopter. So the box is a sleeve on the outside. So this should just pull right out here and we can set this guy aside and it is a full box. Go ahead and open it up and see what we got. So the first thing we'll notice is of course our instruction manual. So this is our instruction manual and this is gonna tell us everything we need to know, what every button does, speed, left, right, fine tuning. This is gonna give us a little diagram. We're gonna get what's included in the packaging, different specs, how to charge, all that good stuff. So we're gonna set this guy aside. I always recommend going through them. So we have a typical e-sheen packaging, we have a desitin pack, which you don't need to keep moisture out. So let's just go ahead and take this plastic cover off. We're gonna set that guy aside and let's see what we got here. So the first thing I noticed is we have a little parts bag with a, looks like a one and a half millimeter Allen and a little tiny Phillips as well as a spare tail blade. Then we have a single or two spare rotor blades. So there's two spare rotor blades in here. And then we have a, it looks like a USB-C for charging. So we have a USB cable. And then right here is, it's a two battery version. So there's one battery in the model and we get a second battery. And it has a little gauge on it to tell us how full the battery is, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna set this guy aside and it looks like it is a lithium ion, not polymer. And it is 350 milliamp hour, 7.4 volts. So it is a two cell. So here's our radio. So this is going to be a normal four channel radio on off. You will need, I believe four, yes, four AA batteries. So that's the only thing not included in the actual aircraft. So we have landing and takeoff because it's a one button takeoff and land. And then I'm assuming this is for your servo speed. These are your trim tabs, nice little radio. And I believe if you have a TX16S, you can bind this with Ishin protocol. And then the main thing right here is this little guy, the BO-105, which is what it's scaled after, but it's called the Isheen E-120. So very nice. Let's get this packaging out of the way and take a look right, at this let's thing. Let's take a closer look at this E-120 BO-105. So as you can see, we have a four bladed head, all plastic. Now, I was noticing something. These blades are a fixed pitch style blade. So they're an already curved airfoil, but we do have three cyclic servos. We have an elevator, an aileron, and a pitch servo. So there is three cyclic servos down inside of there. We do have a plastic swash plate, really nice designed head. Everything looks good, no slop, no play. It is an all plastic body, it has some nice scale detail to it. Of course, it says Isheen E120 on it. Our skids are plastic as well with a nice little bit of flex. Body is pretty hard. We have nice windows, nice little details and pop rivets little fan exhaust, the back door that opens up on the real one, the exhaust is done chrome like full scale. And then of course our back half here, we have little steps, little holders, little tail skid. We do have LED lights. You have a red light here and it looks like a green and a red in the fins. And then you also have a, I believe that is a white light on the bottom there. This is the sensor for the one take touch takeoff and the height control, altitude control. We have a brushed little mini tail motor and I do believe this is a brushed actual main motor. And then your battery is going to clip right in the bottom. So you're going to pick this little tab here and just simply slide the battery out. Now I have one battery on charge right now, but you're going to plug your USB-C right into there and the charger is built right into the battery. So you just plug it into a USB port and the battery charges. And again, 
This one has the same thing where you push it one time and it's a battery indicator. We have three lights, so it's probably around 70% charged. Again, it's a 350 milliamp 2S lithium ion pack. Very nice little battery. Let's see if we could take a good look inside of here. Here's our power pins to give power to the battery and you can see the receiving end is right here on the actual battery itself. So that's where your battery makes contact. Everything is screwed in and replaceable. If you look down inside of there, you can see the main board with all the pins and servo plugs. Nice, thick, good color scheme. Awesome looking little helicopter. I mean, it really is. Let's get the camera off the tripod and look around this Now thing. we have it sitting on its skids. Awesome, awesome looking little machine. It's not too small, not too big, a little 120 class. They did a fantastic job on all the scale lines, loving the four bladed head. Looks just like the real BO 105. I mean, they, Ishin, great job on this one. I know this model has been out for a little bit now and it is nothing new, but it is new to me. So I want to give a huge thank you to Banggood for sending this to me. And if you guys want one of these Ishin E120 BO 105s, check the link in the description below. It is an affiliate link, it does help the channel out, it helps me out. And it doesn't cost you guys an extra penny. So if you do want one of these, they're at a great price. Check the link in the description. Okay, so if your guys' Ishin E120 came as mode one, like mine did, so that means your throttle and ailerons are gonna be on the right stick and your rudder and elevator is going to be on the left stick. So what we need to do now is we need to reverse that because I fly mode two like most people in the US do. So our collective and rudder is on left stick and our ailerons and elevator are on right stick. So according to the manual, now I already put four AA batteries in here. You're going to push and hold the one take touch takeoff button, this button right here, while powering up the transmitter. And now we are in mode two. So this is going to be collective, rudder, elevator, aileron. So now we can turn the model on. Let's test that we're in mode two, power up. Push and hold till the helicopter lights come on. Okay. So we should have a blinking light and then pull down the throttle, push up the throttle, pull back down. It is armed. So now we know that our aileron stick, left, right, back, forward. So everything is working like it should. Now we're in mode two. And right now, collective slash throttle and rudder stick should be doing nothing because we have not hit the one touch takeoff. Now we got everything working like it should. Awesome, awesome little scale helicopter. So I wanna thank each and every one of you guys so much for watching, quick little unboxing and how to change from mode one to mode two. Again, give a huge thank you to Banggood for sending this out to me. If you guys want one, it will be linked in the description below. Use that link, doesn't cost you an extra penny and it helps the channel out big time. Get yourself one of these little Ishin E120s, awesome little helicopter, fly inside, play around with. We'll get a flight video on it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and have a great day.